Yeah. Well, thanks very much, uh, Earl, and thanks, Joe, and thanks, John. And we'll just play a few tunes um, that, that uh, John and I recorded with uh, Joe, and, and uh, Dan Gurney is going to take Joe's place tonight, and uh, we're delighted that he's um, with us. Dan is a graduate of a place across the river. We all know where that is. And, uh, but he's a wonderful musician and uh, has just um, finished recording uh, a new album, which I think you'll, you'll really enjoy when it does come out. So here are three tunes that uh, Joe, Joe, John, and, and uh, I recorded. Um, the first one is called, what is it, John? The Old Copper Plate. The Old Copper Plate. And the second one is named... Um, what is it, Joe? The Golden, the Golden Keyboard. No, that's the third one, I think. Hunter's House. The Hunter's House, the composition of um, Ed Reby from Philadelphia. And the Golden Keyboard is a composition of Martin Mulhair from New York. Hunter's House, the only tune I actually know the title to. It's <laughs> handy. Let's play them once through. Yeah. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> this time of the night they all sound the same. <laughs> okay, one, two. One of Joe's compositions here. Uh, this is called The Deliverance. And I'm just going to play just this one tune. I'm not going to do it in the usual medley. I'm just going to do it all by itself.
<laughs> Didn't play this one. Thank you. And you can get Joe. Uh, you can hear Joe playing in one of his CDs. They're over there. And so, like Earl said, uh, you should have a copy. Christmas is coming too. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to hear? One of our great young uh, accordion players, a young American, uh, he sent me a copy of his um, CD with the rough copies, and I, I was driving in today into work, and uh, I put it on and was really uh, so delighted to hear what a wonderful player he is. And um, I was driving along, and I kept track five, and it was going so well that the tears came down my eyes of joy listening to it, and I said, we have here one of the great young Americans playing Irish music, and um, I'm very proud to have him, uh, ask him to, to play for you tonight. I'm very proud to know him. He had a great teacher in Joe, and the things that Joe taught him, it's very obvious on the recording, but he has his own very distinctive style as well, and. Um, I think you'll enjoy his record when it is released, but I can tell you, the first track was just amazing. Everything about the whole record is just lovely. But the tears came on track five. Well, wow. maybe you'll do track five for us, would you? Can yeah. you think of it? All right, maybe John, I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Dan, Dan and I know, I know we have wonderful musicians down there at the back. I wish we had time to, to bring all of them up. And uh, um, maybe sometime we'll, you'll come along to one of our other events and we'll have you perform, if, if you would. But thanks for coming to the great musicians down there. And thank you all. And thanks to Earl Hitchener for a wonderful presentation on the life of uh, our dear friend, uh, Joe Duran. I grew up listening to Joe as a kid. And when we'd be out playing, my father had collected the, the old 78s that um, Joe uh, made during back in the 50s and 40s. And uh, the only way they could get us in from the street from kicking football was to put Joe Duran's records on. You know? <laughs> and then they would lock the door and they would leave us outside and we'd be crying because the record would be on and we couldn't get in. <laughs> but uh, we did get in and I learned a lot from, from Joe's music. So Je Joe, thank you. Uh, for, for everything you did for, for the world of Irish music. But anyway, here's the new generation, Dan Gurney. Move in there, move in. Put, put the cup around. Dan, give it a good drink.
Well, you see what I, what I meant when I said um, uh, it's very emotional playing, and uh, just for me, it's the real thing. And uh, I think and I believe that we will hear a lot more of this young man now that he has finished his studies at Harvard. And uh, I know he loves the music, and that's what he wants to pursue for a while anyway, you know. 